Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we're gonna be seeing how we can annotate our own data set for question answering task. So question answering task is a little complex task in, in field of NLP where we have been given a context and a question and an answer. So uh, in a context, you will have a sentence or paragraph and the question has to be formed and answer should be given in the context. So that's how uh, the question and answering task is generally framed. So in that particular context, we have to question something and we have to get the answer from that particular uh, context. So this is a general task of question answering. So doing uh, or preparing such kind of question answering uh, task, uh, we need to have a data set uh, of certain format. So to train a question answering task model, we have to put up a data set and that data set should have certain format. So that format is nothing but a squared data set format that we generally fo follow while uh, training a question answering task. So squad data set format is generally required for question answering task. So on the screen, if you are able to see, uh, this is the squad data set format. And this is how the things are have to be prepared before training a model. So if you are able to see that uh, there are a lot of nested dictionaries has been, uh, has been incorporated inside it. And all these nested, nested uh, dictionaries have, uh, have something called context where we'll mention the context and then it's a question respected to this context you can see here the question and we are asking some question here and according to that question we are putting up an answer so this is the answer key where we'll putting up the answer so here's the answer and with that answer we're also referring to where the uh, starting uh, character of that particular answer in the context so at 159 uh, character starting position this answer is located and here is one more id which is possible which says that that answer is answerable within the context or not so is impossible means is equal to false means the answer is possible here that is it is being able to answer this particular question from this particular context so this is how it should be prepared like uh, a context should be given and a question should be given and an answer should be given an answer should have this particular start uh, characteristic and the text of it that is what is the answer and then this is how it should be prepared in a form of nested list that is uh, in a squared data set format so this is the format we generally follow so this context and question and answer should be presented in uh, this format which is a squared data set format so to prepare uh, this kind of structure or a data set, uh, we have to annotate our data set. So for annotating uh, on our own data set, uh, we have a tool called Haystack Annotation Tool. So if you go into this particular link, you're going to find an, a very good or very famous annotation tool for annotating question answering tasks, which has been developed by Haystack. And they have also have given up uh, a particular uh, uh, framework for uh, training and question answering tasks. So they have all set set of things uh, which can be developed by just uh, in few lines of code. So uh, out of that, uh, we have we have been just uh, exploring the annotation tool. So uh, this is the annotation tool developed by the Haystack team, and you can see uh, there are a lot of things has to be done inside this annotation tool. Uh, so this is the uh, screenshot of this particular annotation tool which we are going to see it uh, live and you can see here is the context given here the question given and we are able to mark the answers here and then once we have done this we can export this particular uh, annotations whatever we are marking here which is the question and the context and the answer we can export in the format that we desire that means in this format we can just directly export it so with this with the help of this annotation tool we can do all such kind of things without any hustle so to use this tool we have to just click on to this haystack annotation tool and once you uh, click on to this you're gonna land up to this particular page and you have to create a sign up or you have to sign up for this particular uh, uh, tool here i have already signed it up so i have to just log in into this particular annotation tool and once I log in into this annotation tool, 
I can see an interface. Since I have uh, uh, annotated a few of the data set for myself, uh, but for you, if you are using it for the first time or if you're signing for the first time, you're not going to see any kind of projects here. It will, it will be empty. So let's suppose I want to start a, a new project. I want to annotate a, a data set uh, for question answering task. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, going to do and click, click on create, create project. So I will create a project, uh, uh, let's say a tutorial and I will just create a project. So once this, uh, once this uh, uh, project is, has been created, I will click on this action button and I'm going to go into this uh, project which I have created that is tutorial project and uh, here you can see th there is nothing here there is no questions there is no context has been displayed here so for uh, doing so what we have to do is uh, for exporting uh, or for importing the data set uh, so what we can do is you can you can see here uh, there is import button where you can import the documents documents are nothing but the context just the context N no question and no answer just the context and you can also see the questions you can also import your own questions here so uh, for us now i am going to import the documents for now and later we'll see how we can put up the questions directly from here by by just uh, writing the questions here from haystack tool itself i'm not going to import questions uh, but but you can import the questions directly by by using uh, by by writing it on the csv file and you can just directly import it is a similar way how you're going to do it for the documents importing so let us first import the documents that is the context so let us click on there and you can see uh, here we have two things we can upload text or we can upload csv file so with the text you can upload the text file as well but uh, the thing is uh, the text file sh should have uh, uh, separated uh, with the slash n so that it should identify that uh, each context has been separated so let's suppose we have 10 uh, paragraphs so in the text file all the 10 paragraphs should be separated by a uh, new line so that's how uh, you can prepare a text file and you can upload it here and it will help so these are the these are the tips you can follow here to get uh, and upload the text file so for now for the easiness of this uh, tutorial or uh, for uh, easiness of this to get into the uh, tutorial fast i am going to using i am going to be using a csv file uh, where i have prepared a data set and uh, uh, that is the i have prepared the context and i am going to uh, upload it over here so for that i have i have created a data set uh, like this if you are able to see uh, we can see that here is the column name document under underscore text so this is the name you have to give uh, for a column which consists which which consists of uh, all the context so you can see these are the context is the paragraphs and the column name for this particular paragraph is document underscore text this is the key or this is the column name should be given and this is compulsory for uh, for uploading onto the annotation tool so uh, i have this kind of data set present here that is uh, the context I have uh, been able to identify. Uh, so you can, I have just put up three context. You can put up n number of contexts here and with the with the column name document underscore text. And then once, once this is done, we can just take up uh, this uh, CSV file uh, and upload it to the uh, annotation tool. Remember, we don't have to put uh, the file in a form of X, Excel format. That is in the format xls we have to put this uh, file in a form of dot csv no uh, no xls format is supported over there so we have to just take up this uh, we have to convert this uh, excel file into a csv uh, format file and uh, with this relevant relevant informations and then if you drop it into this particular annotation tool so for this uh, i am going to be using this uh, drop drag and drop so I have prepared this data set here and if I just drag and drop it, it will upload the document. So you can see it's saying three documents were successfully uploaded. So once this is done, you can come back to this document uh, tab and you can start seeing that all the documents that were present inside the CSV file are here. So you can see uh, the first uh, 
context which which was present inside uh, the csv file it is here and this is the second context you can see it is present inside the uh, csv file it is here and in, in the third context also you can see so now once we have this context developed now we have to prepare a question and also the answer for it right so what we can do is uh, let's suppose we want to put up a, a, a questions which are of standard kind that that means uh, the same kind of questions has to be asked for all the set of uh, uh, context so for this what you can do is you can just go into this question tab and you can click on it and you can click on this add question bar and you can start typing the question so remember this is this set of questions what you are going to prepare here is a standard questions that means the general questions that we are going to ask for all the set of context so this type of questions will be present in all type of documents so uh, let me just put up a few questions then we are able to understand what is happening here so let me let me just put up question like what is the uh, capital then i am going to put up a question category that is uh, anything you can put it up i will put it up as a similarly uh, what is the country i am going to put it as a similarly uh, what is the language uh, spoken and i am going to put it as category as a so let's suppose these are the three type of questions that are generally uh, present in the or that are generally being asked inside those contexts so these are these are set of the general questions right so so uh, now we want to enumerate the answers for this uh, from this context so for this if you click on this uh, arrow button you're going to go and see that these are the questions present whatever the questions that we wrote this here are present here with this context uh, <clears throat> so now what we can do is uh, you can see that that category is present here a and you can also see there is a u category also so this a category says that this is a general type of questions that will present for all set of uh, all set of uh, uh, context so if i go back and let me show you for this context the same kind of questions will present for this context as well. so you can see uh, this is the context has changed but the question remains uh, the same right because uh, this type of questions that we set up here are standard questions so it will present for all type of context so now let us go back to the first context and let's just understand what does this uh, category means so this a category or is or any kind of other category other than u category means that these questions are generic questions it can be answered or it can be question for each type of uh, context but let's suppose there is a document in this document we have uh, certain questions which were unique to this particular type of context so for such kind of questions we can use this unique or u tag and we can add a custom questions here by clicking on this so once you click on to this it will ask you to select the part of a text to write up a custom question with respect to this particular context so it may not be so this question once you prepare this question it won't be present in all context in all type of documents that have to be entered it will be just present for this particular context because it's a unique question that has to be asked for this particular uh, document so while annotating we may find some unique questions uh, which are not of standard type that we have created uh, on the on the first part uh, but we found it like okay this is a new type of question that is coming up for this context so why not just uh, click on this unique tab and add some custom questions here right so this is uh, the usefulness of this particular tool so now let's see how we can answer this so uh, since we have uh, uh, given the questions so we can click on to this question and, and we can just select the answer for this from the paragraph so i have selected this question and now and now i have to just select the answer so i can see what is the capital is the question and answer is paris so now it is selected you can see now i can select go to second question and see what is the country so i can see the country is france 
and the language spoken, I can see it's French. So this is the generic question, right? And now let's suppose uh, I want to question something. I like I want to put up a question which is very unique. So let's suppose uh, uh, there is something unique coming up. Uh, I can say uh, Paris has been one of the world's more uh, major center of finance, diplomacy, uh, commerce, fashion. Movement. Okay. So what we can say is uh, we can put up a question here, a unique question, like what is the uh, Paris major center or you can say uh, major uh, uh, attraction of Paris. So this is the custom question that we can prepare. So for this first we'll have to click on this unique button and then we have to add custom questions and then we have to select the answer first. So for this reason we want to prepare a question right the unique question. So we'll select the first answer and then we have to put up a question. So uh, we can ask questions like what is the most attractive part of Paris. So this is a uh, unique question for this particular context and category is all automatically chosen to unique that is you and then we can submit it. So this is how uh, the unique category or the unique question has been created for this particular document and then later on we can just uh, once this is done then we can uh, move on to the next document by clicking on this arrow. And then once uh, we click on it, we can get into this particular uh, next document. And then similarly, you can prepare the, uh, or we can annotate the uh, document likewise. And then once that is done, uh, we can uh, we can put up the, uh, we can export the labels. So as you can see, uh, I got I got two answers for this. But this third question's answer is not present here in the context. But we have marked it, uh, we have uh, standardized it. So wh what we can do is, one thing you can do is, you can skip this particular question. So you don't have to answer it uh, because no answer is present. But let's suppose uh, if you want to answer it, so we can say uh, answer is not given. So once you select it, you can say that, okay, uh, the answer is not given. So when you export this particular uh, question answering to the particular uh, squad format, you will see this answers with answer list as a blank. So let me show you uh, that will be a better option to show it. So uh, let's suppose we have done the annotation for two files. Now let's export the label and see how this is happening. So let's click on this export label and then you can click on this export answer. You can export in a form of Excel. And we can export in a form of squared format. So let's click on this and download the uh, download the squared format data that we've annotated. Right. So let's 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 just download it. And once this is downloaded, uh, we'll open with uh, Notepad. Okay. Okay, so now you can see, right? So you can see, uh, this is the format that we wanted, right? And now you can see we have uh, we have this we have this question, we have this uh, uh, context, right? And we have this question, and you can see we didn't answer anything for this. What is the language spoken? Because there was no language present in this particular context, so we uh, the answer saved as empty list but if you see uh, for the same context we have this question as well what is the country and you can see the answer here the answer is stored in the form of text which is england and a start uh, token has been also been given here but here you, you see since we since there were no no answer present inside this context so we marked as answer not given hence the answer uh, remains as empty and you can see is impossible is turned true true because there is no answer present in it. So it is saying that okay this answer cannot be present in the context. And similarly if you see here for this question the impossible is set to false because it says that answer is present inside this context. And similarly if you see for the next uh, uh, context that we have marked. So this is the next question or this is the next context. And here is the uh, question for this context. What is the most attractive part of the Paris? Remember, this is the unique question that we have marked, and you can see the answer here. 
in this particular answer uh, answer list and a start uh, token and you can see is, is impossible is false so creating such kind of data set is very very easy with this uh, hex haystack annotation tool and once this data set is prepared we can uh, like this we can annotate for many contexts and prepare questions and answer for it and then we can export this data in this certain format uh, in, in the form of json format and then we can train the model uh, by using uh, hugging face transformer or you can also use haystacks uh, training for uh, uh, question answering task so haystack uh, provides a particular uh, training for uh, question answering task so you can go into this their github and you can check out to their particular github and you can understand how we can train a custom uh, data set a question answering task or custom question answering uh, model for your uh, data set that we annotated here so these all things these all uh, library except uh, this kind of format that is quite data format data set format that we prepared and you can just directly pass into this particular uh, like haystack annotation uh, library and you can get the get your model trained so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video so if you like the content please do subscribe to the channel thank you